Hello, welcome. I'm Allison Kinnear. Today we are talking about the second good reason to feel like an imposter. This work comes from the amazing book called The Secret Thoughts of Successful Women. It also applies to men by Valerie Young. And we are going to talk about the second good reason. The second good reason is you are a student. Now, in the book, she talks about being a student at college, you know, being in university settings and feeling like you you can't keep up intellectually with the people around you. But I would argue that many of us who are in industries where there requires a lot of learning, a lot of subject matter expertise, that we are often always in a student role, whether you're in tech, whether you're in law, whether you're in medicine, whatever the the capabilities of or the constraints of your occupation, chances are you're you might be in a position where there's a lot of things to learn and it's hard to know everything. I remember when I was at Google, a friend of mine said to me, one of the things she loved about working at Google is she was never the smartest person in the room. And the thing that she also hated about being uh, working at Google was she was never the smartest person in the room. There's always going to be someone who has a zone of genius that may be more extraordinary than your own or may be just in a different niche than your own. And so the first thing that you can do if you are in any position where you're constantly having to learn things is just to remember that you don't have to be a subject matter expert in everything. I remember uh, going to a very large tech company and one of the things that kind of emerged out of their um, team work building um, exercise that I just brought everyone through is that many, many, many people felt like they had to be a subject matter expert in everything. And when their manager heard this, he was immediately like, I don't expect that. I don't, in fact, I don't even want that from you. I don't want you to be a subject matter expert in everything. I want you to be a subject matter expert in what you do and then have the capacity to learn or trust or rely upon other people to be their own subject matter experts. And so part of that is then telling yourself, reminding yourself it's okay to be in learning mode. It's okay to not be the smartest person in the room. What we need to do instead is to trust in your capacity to learn. You know, when we are being smart, that means like we already know all the things that we know, which is really different than being capable of learning, right? Chances are you are where you are because you have an immense capacity to learn things and it's okay to be in learning mode and to trust in your capability when you're feeling like, oh, I don't know enough here to trust in your capability of being able to figure it out. That is a huge way to put a dent in imposter syndrome because imposter syndrome tells you, well, you haven't made it yet. And when you can say, but that's okay because I know how to learn things then it takes the wind out of the sails for that. Now, I'm going to have more videos coming at you pretty much all this week, um, but I wanted to share with you that next week on the 18th at 3 p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific, I will be walking through a uh, overcoming imposter syndrome workshop. So if you're interested in that, I will be putting a link in the comments below. It's $47 for an hour. And this is my big talk. This is the talk that I give to Google, Microsoft, Amazon, um, Dell. These are these are companies that I've spoken to about this topic, and I want to bring it to you. So I will be sharing more about that as time goes on in my future videos. If you want to learn more, you can also check me out at my website, alisonkinnear.com. I will see you next time for the third good reason to feel like an imposter. See you then.